And for the headlines, weather forecast, the intertropical convergence zone will bring rain to southern Luzon, the Visayas, and Mindanao. Local news. Confused workers at the Cagayan de Oro water firm seek guidance from the OGCC amid ELWA control. PIDEA 10 to launch an internal investigation into the hacked Facebook page. One person is missing. 11 houses and one truck were destroyed by fire in Barangay Tablon, CDO. The court denies the TRO against ELWA. Trillanes to file a new complaint against Duterte and Go regarding the frigate deal. Two arrested after evading an 84,000 peso bill at a bar. One suspect assaulted the waiter. International news. Biden returns to the campaign trail as pressure increases. Entertainment. Bini security. Fans surprised as Bini dances Pantropico with marshals. Zainab Haraki and Ray Parks Jr. are now engaged. Sports. Honor of Kings unveils as eSports plans for 2024. Team Cone admits Kai Soto's absence impacted Gila's debt against Brazil. International feature. Alice Munro's daughter alleges stepfather abused her and her mother was aware. National feature. Mirna Esguera from Abra clinches the Binipining Pilipinas International 2024 title. Trivia. According to the professor, the world's first human head transplant has been successful. If you found this segment informative, don't forget to click the thumbs up button, subscribe to stay updated with our latest news, and share this broadcast with your friends and family. Your support helps us to keep you informed. Help us get 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, subscribing, and sharing our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts your visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find way and stay informed. Plus, it helps us generate more resources to continue delivering the news you rely on. Thank you for being a part of our community and supporting quality journalism. Good morning Philippines, Magandang Umaga Luzon, Ugmayo Adlao, Visayas, Mindanao. Today is Monday, July 8, 2024. I am Athalia P. Saniel. Weather forecast, the intertropical convergence zone will bring rain to southern Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. According to Pag-asa, rain showers are expected in parts of Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao on Sunday due to the intertropical convergence zone. Mimaropa, western Visayas, and Zamboanga Peninsula may experience cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms, potentially leading to flash floods or landslides from moderate to heavy rainfall. The rest of the country can expect partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers or thunderstorms from the same weather system. Meanwhile, Bicol region, Aurora, and Quezon may have cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms due to easterlies, which could also bring isolated rain showers or thunderstorms to Metro Manila and other parts of Luzon. Pag-asa advises residents to be cautious as these conditions may trigger flash floods or landslides in affected areas. Music 
local news. Confused workers at the Cagayan de Oro water firm seek guidance from the OGCC Amid Elwa Control. Workers at the Cagayan de Oro Water District are appealing to the Office of the Government Corporate Council to expedite a legal opinion regarding the takeover by the local water utilities administration. This move followed a supply crisis stemming from a debt dispute between COWD and its primary water supplier. Jofran Doromal, acting president of the First Labor Organization of COWD, expressed their confusion and concern amidst management changes, emphasizing the need for clarity on their future amid dual signatories directing them. The workers have been holding daily piquets to draw national attention to their plight as Elwa appointed interim management continues to oversee operations. PDA attend to launch an internal investigation into the hacked Facebook page. The PDA attend confirmed that their official Facebook page was hacked around 6 p.m. on Sunday evening. In an exclusive interview with Bombo Radio, PDA attend Regional Director Benji Gaspe revealed that he has already summoned their information officer and staff to determine if needed, their Facebook page was compromised. Director Gaspe may issue a show cost order against their social media unit the following day. Gaspe emphasized the need to investigate possible negligence by page administrators that could have led to the hacking incident. If the internal investigation does not resolve the matter, they may seek assistance from experts at the Police Regional Office 10 Anti-Cyber Crime Unit. One person is missing, 11 houses and one truck were destroyed by fire in, Marang in Barangay Tablon, CDO. Nine houses were completely razed and two were partially damaged in a fire at Purok 10, Barangay Tablon in the city. Fire Senior Inspector mm -hmm. Kyle Bryan Lawson Chief Operations Branch of BFP Region 10, Cagayan de Oro Fire District, reported that the house initially burned belonged to the Bolo family and spread the neighboring houses due to the flammable materials. The initial damage from the fire is estimated at 116,000 pesos. A large truck part beside the burning store was also affected. Authorities, along with the Kugman Police Station, Continue to search for Raymart, a PWD and a member of the Bolo family. Initial investigations indicate the fire started in the Bolo family's house when someone lit a fire inside their home. The court denies the TRO against Elwa. The Misamis Oriental Regional Trial Court Branch 38 under Judge Emmanuel P. Pasal has rejected a request from a temporary restraining order filed by several petitioners against the local water utilities administration. The case, known as Civil Case Number RCDO 2402070SC, involves petitioners Nelia Balandra, Lee Jerry J. Cano, Janet Carvero Floriendo, and Antonio B. Young who contested Elwa's assumption of control over the Cagayan de Oro City Water District. Following the court's decision, Antonio Young provided an update, noting that the case has been reassigned to Branch 41 due to Judge Passos' recusal, with a hearing scheduled for the motion for reconsideration. The dispute centers on Elwa's intervention which the petitioners argue is unjustified. Under Presidential Decree 198, a COWD allegedly overpaid Elwa. The court's ruling indicates a continuation of legal proceedings to determine the governance and operational oversight of COWD. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat ngayon. Uh, nandito po tayo sa May Divisoria at makakausap po natin si Ma'am Jing Jing. Si Ma'am Jing Jing, ilang taon na po kayo dito sa tinatrabahoan niyo, Ma'am? Mga fi, oh, magti-3 years. Magti-3 years. years. So, ala, di, na, di man siguro lingid sa inyong kaalaman, Ma'am, na meron pong mga senaryo na nangyayari sa ating bansa at saka sa ibang bansa 
Uh, paano po kaya mariresolve ba ang mga ganitong problema, ma'am, sa inyo pong opinion? Opinion niyo lang po, ma'am. Ito na medyo itong... Ayun, ano kayo, brag, 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 <laughs> Sige ma'am, ganito na lang ma'am. Uh, ilan po lahat yung anak natin ma'am? Tatlo. Tatlo, so puro lalaki or babae o babae lalaki? All boys na ako. All boys. Meron po bang, uh, ano pong mga trabaho nila sa ngayon ma'am? Isa sa grab, ang isa sa nasa disinfect, ang isa na asa... Uh, uh, Hindi ko, oh, office na siya. Ma'am, pero kalimot ko sa mga office na siya. Ah, office, pero wala pa silang balak sa, siguro kay, di man sila nag-criminology. So, nasa mga, ano sila, sa mga private sector private, na private trabaho. Sector. Pero halimbawa, ma'am, kung yung isa sa mga anak nyo ay pumasok sa government, tsaka either nagsundalo or nagpulis, papayag po ba kayo? Ah, hindi. Bakit, ma'am? Kasi, Sa ngayon, no, ma, ano, ma, malisod? Mahirap. Mahirap, yun, nga sa ngayon, mahirap. Mahirap talaga. Pero yung mga anak niyo, ma, meron na po mga pamilya or puro? Meron na, meron na. Lahat sila, meron ng pamilya. Pero halimbawa, ma, uh, sa mga anak mo, hindi sila papalari na maging sundalo or police or nasa government, pero halimbawa, yung mga apo mo, ma, pwede mo pa bang mapigilan or dapat uh, pag-isipan kung ano talaga yung Gusto nilang um, matapos na kurso. Ano lang, nasa kanila, pero wala, ano, support na lang. So support, support, na lang. support ganun talaga so, ang role ng Lula. Pero kung mabibigyan po kayo ng pagkakataon, ma'am, pwede niyo po ba silang pagbawalan or support lang talaga? Support lang talaga. So support lang talaga. So yun po yung ano ni, ni ma'am Jingjing ma Jing Jing na suportahan yung kung gusto nung mga apo niya, mga anak niya. So, hindi po dapat uh, pipilitin kung anong nais ng magiging o kurso na magiging mga apo niya at mga anak. Salamat po, ma'am.
National News. Rilianes to file a new complaint against Duterte and Go regarding the frigate deal. After submitting plunder and graft complaints to the Department of Justice, former Senator Sonny Trillanes announced plans to file additional charges against former President Rodrigo Duterte and Senator Bongo related to a controversial frigate deal from the Duterte administration. Trillanes stated that preparations for the new complaint, which involves gathering various documents, are nearing completion. The complaint concerns alleged changes in specifications and procurement irregularities in a 15.7 billion peso frigate acquisition project affecting the Philippine Navy. Trillanes accused Duterte and Go along with their associates in the Department of Defense of involvement in the alleged anomalies. He expressed hope that the DOJ would begin investigating the previously filed complaints, noting the need to validate documents sourced from the Commission on Audit, Department of Public Works and Highways, and Department of Trade and Industry. Two arrested after evading an 84,000 peso bill at a bar. One suspect assaulted the waiter. In Manila, a man and a woman were arrested after attempting to evade payment of their bill at a bar in Sampaloc. According to Police Major Philip Ines of the Manila Police District, the two entered the bar with companions, allegedly closed it for a private gathering, and promised to treat everyone, including bar staff. When they realized the bill exceeded 80000 there was an altercation where a waiter was injured. Police intervened after patrons sought help during the commotion, leading to the suspect's arrest. The waiter, Jerby de la Cruz, recounted that the man initially agreed to a budget of a 15,000 pesos but exceeded it significantly, resulting in a bill reaching 70,000 pesos by early morning. The suspects facing charges of estafa and the man additionally for physical injuries have been brought to Sampalo Police Station for processing. <music> International News Biden returns to the campaign trail as pressure increases. In Philadelphia, U.S. President Joe Biden returned to the campaign trail Sunday, aiming to revive his re-election bid amid mounting pressure within senior Democrats urging him to withdraw from the White House rates. Biden 81 addressed a predominantly black church before heading to another stop in Pennsylvania, a critical battleground state. Facing increasing scrutiny over his age and performance after a challenging debate against Donald Trump, Biden remains defiant, asserting his fitness to serve and his determination to defeat Trump. Despite calls from the Democrats for him to step aside, others are emphasizing the need for Biden to reassure voters about his capabilities. Key figures in the party are discussing the path forward, while Biden's wife, Jill Biden, supports his continuation in the campaign, slated to intensify with upcoming events in a pivotal NATO summit in Washington. Entertainment, Beanie Security, Fan Surprise as Beanie Dances Pantropical with Marshalls. During their concert finale, the eight-member girl group performed their popular summer song, ending the show by surprising fans with an impromptu choreography in the audience area alongside their security team. The close interaction thrilled fans, who were equally amused by the security officers joining in the dance, leading to humorous online comments dubbing them Beanie Guard and New Bias Beanie Security. Clips of the security personnel dancing went viral on social media, prompting reactions from amused fans. Despite initial shyness expressed by one marshal who admitted his dancing skills were not the best, the incident highlighted both the group's fans' engagement 
and the need for security measures, possibly influenced by previous incidents involving group members during personal time off. Zainab Harake and Ray Parks Jr. are now engaged. Zainab Harake, a content creator and basketball player Ray Parks Jr., have announced their engagement in a vlog released on Sunday. During the proposal, Park sought the blessing of Harake's children and was joined by their families and friends. Expressing his love and commitment, Parks emphasized their Christ-centered relationship and his desire to lead and serve Harake to the best of his abilities. Harake, in turn, shared that she believes in Parks and sees a future with him that includes understanding and support even in the toughest times. They celebrated their first anniversary as a couple in June. Sports Honor of Kings unveils eSports plans for 2024. Honor of Kings announced its eSports plans for the remainder of the year during a press conference highlighting initiatives for Filipino players. Apart from the eSports World Cup, upcoming events include an international invitational and a major championship in Southeast Asia to expand beyond China. Following its recent launch in the Philippines on June 20, the game now spans 160 countries. Tencent, the game's owner, expressed long-term support for Southeast Asian teams including Blacklist International, Boom Esports, Smart Omega, and Excretion, aiming to strengthen their so ro aiming to strengthen their rosters and nurture talent. Honor of Kings quickly become became Honor of Kings quickly became a top download in Southeast Asia upon release, with teams like Blacklist International integrating former Wild Rift players. Boom Esports faces Indonesia's RRQ in a C showdown for a slot at the Esports World Cup in Riyadh. Team Kohn admits Kai Soto's absence impacted Gila's depth against Brazil. Gila's Filipinas missed out on advancing to the finals of the 2024 FIBA Olympic qualifying tournament despite initially leading against Brazil. Coach Team Kohn acknowledged Brazil's prowess describing them as the 12th best team globally he expressed disappointment over their loss emphasizing the impact of missing kai soto due to injury which strained their frontline depth Cohn admitted they fell short and need improvement stressing the need to surpass obstacles to achieve success International feature Alice Munro's daughter alleges stepfather abused her and her mother was aware. Alice Munro's daughter, Andrea Robin Skinner, revealed in a Toronto Star article that her stepfather, Gerald Fremlin, sexually abused her as a child in 1976. Skinner disclosed that Fremlin assaulted her when Munro was away and also engaged in an inappropriate behavior when alone with her. Skinner shared her ordeal with Munro when she was 25, but Munro chose to stay with Fremlin, whom she had married in the 1970s. Skinner eventually reported the abuse to police at the age 38, seeking public acknowledgement and validation of her experience. Kremlin later pleaded guilty to incident assault in 2005. <music> National feature Mirna Esguera from Abra clinches the Binibini Pilipinas International 2024 title. Mirna Esguera from Abra clinched the title of Binibini Pilipinas International 2024 during the pageant's 60th coronation night. Esguera emerged victorious among 40 contestants with Jasmine Bungay of Pampanga securing the Binibini Pilipinas Globe 2024 title. Esguera impressed during the top, top 15 question and answer segment 
where she reflected on women's empowerment and thanked those who paved the way for her success. She also swept five special awards including Best in National Costume, Swimsuit, and Evening Gown. Esguera will represent the Philippines at the Miss International pageant next year, succeeding the current title holder. Trivia According to the professor, the world's first human head transplant has been successful. According to controversial Italian doctor Dr. Sergio Canavero, the world's first human head transplant has been conducted on a deceased body in China. Canavero announced during a press conference in Vienna that the operation led by Dr. Xiaoping Ren at Harbin Medical University marks a significant step towards performing the procedure on a living person. Canavero emphasized that the successful transplant on human cadavers demonstrates the viability of his techniques in reconnecting the spine, nerves, and blood vessels between the two bodies. Plans for the first live human transplant are underway, likely to be carried out in China due to higher donor availability. And that was the information we got from here and abroad. Keep listening and watching. If you found this segment informative, don't forget to click the thumbs up button, subscribe to stay updated with our latest news, and share this broadcast with your friends and family. Your support helps us to keep you informed. Help us get 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, subscribing, and sharing our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts your visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find way and stay informed. Plus, it helps us generate more resources to continue delivering the news you rely on. Thank you for being a part of our community and supporting quality journalism. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.